Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Now is the test day of October at may pag-aaralan na naman tayong another chapter ng Book of Deuteronomy. I hope that you're all good this morning. And before we start, before we read this word, let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this morning and we thank you for the love and hope that you're always giving us each day. I hope and pray that you'll open our hearts to hear your word and help us to understand your word today. Guide me, Lord, as I read your word. This I pray. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 10 At that time, the Lord said to me, She sell out two stone tablets like the first ones and come up to me on the mountain. Also make a wooden chest. I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets which you broke, then you them in the chest. Verse 3, So I made the ark out of acacia wood and chiseled out two stone tablets like the first ones, and I went up on the mountain with the two tablets in my hands. The Lord wrote on these tablets what he had written before, the ten commandments he had proclaimed to you on the mountain, out of the fire, on the day of the assembly, and the Lord gave them to me. Then I came back down the mountain and put the tablets in the ark I had made, as the Lord commanded me, and they are there now. Verse 6, The Israelites traveled from the wells of the Jaakanites to Mosera. The, there Aaron died and was buried, and Eleazar, his son, succeeded him as priest. From there they traveled to Godgoda and unto Jostbatha, a land with streams of water. At that time, the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, to minister, and to pronounce blessing in His name, as they still do today. That is why the Levites have no share or inheritance among their brothers. The Lord is their inheritance, as the Lord your God told them. Verse 10 Now I had stayed on the mountain forty days and nights, as I did the first time. And the Lord listened to me at this time also. It was not his will to destroy you. Go, the Lord said to me, and lead the people on their way, so that they may enter and possess the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Verse 12 And now, O Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to observe the Lord's command and decrees that I am giving you today for your own good. Verse 14, To the Lord your God belongs the heavens, even the highest heavens, the earth and everything in it. Yet the Lord set his affection on your forefathers and loved them, and he chose you, their descendants, above all the nations, as it is today. Circumcise your heart, therefore, and do not be stiff-necked any longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, the mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality and accepts no bribes. Verse 18, He defends the cause of the fatherless and the widow, and loves the alien, giving him food and clothing. And you are to love those who are aliens, for you yourself were aliens in Egypt. Fear the Lord your God and serve him. Hold fast to him and take your oaths in his name. He is your praise. He is your God who performed you for you those great and awesome wonders you saw with your own eyes. Your forefathers who went down into Egypt were seventy in all, and now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars in the sky. So in verses 1 to 11, Moses explained there kung ano nangyari uh, sa Adon that the Lord spoke to Moses to make another two stone tablets and to also make um ark made of wood kung saan ilalagay ni Moses yung two stone tablets sa loob ng ark made of wood then uh, after that he even stayed on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights just like what he did 
Itong una. And the next verses, which is the verses 12, and the rest is God required from us what He requires Israel. So, ano nga ba ang require ng Lord sa atin na require niya sa Israel? So, the important message for us is that we must fear the Lord our God. We must walk in His ways continually. We must serve Him with all our hearts and soul. For the for He owns the heavens, the highest heavens, the earth, and everything. For He is the great God. He is mighty and truly awesome. So we must bring Him back all the glory and praises that He truly deserves. For the Lord has already chosen us, and His love for us is never failing. Kaya, we have to observe and be sensitive to the Lord's command. For what the Lord's command na binibigay niya sa atin, because it is for our own good. Like what Moses did, diba? He served the Lord and obeyed what the Lord has commanded him. He even stayed in the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights to praise Him and worship Him. Ganyan. So we also, we as Christians, we also have to, we also have to fear the Lord and to have that heart, that God-fearing heart. And we must walk in His ways and serve Him with all our hearts and souls because he already chosen us long time ago with our descendants or forefathers. He loved them. And yes, so that's important message in this verse. So Let's get reminded of that always, so we must live it in our lives. And now, let us close in prayer. Lord, truly you are good and awesome in our lives. Thank you for giving us knowledge in understanding your word for today. Thank you for a good heart and a God-fearing heart that is in us. Lord. Help us to turn our eyes away from ruthless things so that we can focus on you, Lord. Thank you for the love. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.